As you can tell by my voice, I've literally just woken up and I've got a lovely friend there, ain't that fabulous? Um, I'm still doing my transfer and for some reason one of my videos is just deleted and not transferred over. So I'm missing one which absolutely guns me. I might be able to try and download it from YouTube. I'll have to go to YouTube Premium get the free trial, download it, and then cancel the free trial. But, the baby Shiki concert, if you remember, all those months back to last September when I was in Dominican Republic, I booked a ticket to go see Dermot Kennedy. If you know me, I love Dermot Kennedy. His whole type of music is just everything. It's kind of like, Tom Walker, Rag and Bone Man, Louis Capaldi vibes, everything like that. And I saw the tickets were coming on sale and I just had a spontaneous splurge. Um oh, what's this? It's also half three in the morning. Um <laughs> I then last month was like I'm not faffing around trying to get like tubes and trains home and I really can't be bothered to drive into London so I thought I'll tell you what I'll do I'll take a half day at work and I will book myself into a hotel the thing with the O2 is where it is the majority of hotels are across the Blackpool tunnel or a tunnel of some kind or a bridge so I thought well with that I've still got to get a cab because I'm not walking around like Greenwich on my own at night. And then I thought, <clears throat> why don't you just treat yourself? So I've actually booked in to stay at the Hilton O2 Greenwich, which apparently has just like a walkway to the O2. So literally I'm connected to the O2. I cannot wait for this room tour. I cannot wait for the room tour. I just booked a um, standard little room because, not gonna lie, it was hella pricey. For one night, just to get my head down, I'm kind of like, hmm, okay. Uh, uh. Picked out a few things last night to wear. I want to kind of go like comfy cash. I don't want to get dressed up up. So I've got some wet look leggings. I'll chuck on some boots. And then I've just got a couple of tops with a jacket to try. And then whatever top I don't wear, we can wear when we come home because the next morning I think I might pop into the O2 because there's like an outlet there and I don't think my checkout is until 12 so obviously you can't go into the O2 with like luggage and everything like that so I think I might get up see what time the outlet opens and then go do a little bit shopping might come back and grab a bit of breakfast if it's in time I don't know so yes I've got half day at work today so you will see me when I am back from work We'll pack the case and then I'm going to have something to eat here because I don't want to pay O2 prices and I'm going to take a couple of little cocktail cans with me because I'm dreading the price of a drink in the O2. Absolutely dreading it. So yeah, why don't we go and spend the night together, go into another concert and staying at the Hilton O2. Is it worth the money? I'm going to be very disappointed if the rooms are nothing like the pictures. But yeah, I shall probably see you about half one once I'm back from work. See you in a bit. It's pouring down. Absolutely pouring down. So this is going to be fun. Guys, essentials. I'm taking a couple of me um, cocktail cans because um, I saw the price of the mini bar fiver for a bottle of water so i think i might even get a bottle of water at the station of course the most important thing connections i need to take my wires as well and i need to pack my little bag for my electricals which i don't quite know what i'm going to do with that i need to pack toiletries i've packed wet look leggings my green crisscross top or like a crop jumper top 
with a jacket and some boots. With a side bag, my good old um, Vivian is coming out because I want it to be comfy. I'm going to take my hair crimper, not my crimper, you know my Mark Hill mermaid waver thing? I'm going to take that. I just need to decide what bag I want for going up because I might wear... I'm gonna, I'm gonna be in it all the time. My Chicago balls, just because you know that is practicality to a T. So yeah, I'm gonna slowly pack. When I say slowly, it needs to be quickly, and see how we get on. I know it's a little bit too much for sure. So cold, but we're always coming back for more. It goes in this wicked game, it's all for sure. Oh, I've got you. Oh my god, I'm gonna go like a bald eagle with an old right. I think it's only right we bring out a new pair for this special occasion. And you know what? Maybe I'm gonna chuck in some eyeliner. Because I can't remember the last time I wore eyeliner, but I actually don't mind it. Oh no, that's blue. Black. Quite waxy. No, it looks like we'll go with just black. We'll go with black and then lipstick. Lipstick, lipstick, lipstick. What do we go for? Why is that not going in properly? Oh, everything is just not going in, guys. Toiletries. I think we're going to go with our classic liquid suede. That can go in there. We put lip balm, anti bag. That is a must. Make sure that these are on tight. I'm going to have my hair, I think, I'm going to leave my hair up in a pony for when I go. Oh, glasses wipes. And then I'm going to take my little crimper. So I might we take the hairbrush and should we take a little small dry shampoo? Yeah. We'll take a little dry shampoo. I'm not going to have hairspray and then I just need to put toothbrush will go in the side I need to take a mini toothpaste get the electricals and get the clothing bits in sounds like a plan right oh god the hair the hair the hair um all packed pretty much ready to go this is quite um heavy and bulbous and I'm thinking if I go to the outlet tomorrow I'm really hoping that I don't buy too much I'm gonna have to be good I'm gonna have to be good let me get my jacket I'm but I thought I'd wear a pair of boots that I can still like wear for tonight so this is the outfit as I say it's quite snazzy I didn't realize it's a um, five-star hotel oopsie so i'm gonna put this on and then at least with my booties i can wear these tonight i did want to go to the gym because they have a 24-hour gym there um yeah there's no room in my case for gym wear so i think i'm gonna get a lot of steps in tomorrow i will make sure i get a lot of steps in but I was a little bit gutted because I thought, oh, 24 hour gym. Now I'm thinking like I'm probably just going to get back. See, now my thinking is, do I get room service tonight when I get back or do I get a nice breakfast in the morning? I've got to see how I feel because they have a twilight menu. So, twilight, I mean, 12 o'clock pizza. That's what we done for end dubs, didn't we? So, right, I am now going to pop you in the case. And I will probably see you when I'm in the room because everything now will be fine because I've got to get two tubes. I don't actually know what the time is. Um, my stuff is over there charging, so I need to get that and bring the leads. And yeah, I guess I shall see you when I'm into London. And fingers crossed I don't get that.
trust me to come on all day. They're filming a film. We've all got to go around the other way. This is super snazzy. You have to scan your card before you even get in there. And apparently I've got a city view. We shall see. Right, so I'm right at the end of the corridor. I got a king bed classic and I'm on the 12th floor. I've got the high city views. It's very snazzy, like getting in here is all modern tech and I'm like, I'm normally just like, put it in, da da da. But yeah, it is all um, very modern tech. In the lift, you would have seen, you have to scan your card and then go up to room number. You can't just get in there and go up, which I'm in mean, great for security wise, but shall we give you a little room tour so you walk in here i am you have this little seating area which holds my case and then you have a built-in wardrobe i mean look at that that's fabulous i've just hung my jacket straight up on it there is shoe service if you want your um shoes cleaned this is like do not disturb and everything like that and then these are your lights your lamps bathroom light and night light i mean fabulous there is the little coffee station and i feel like these two bottles of water are free but i don't know with this this is the breakfast menu i don't know when you have to put this in for or whether you can just call i'm not too sure he did say there is a five pound room tray charge i was like i know they done me that at newcastle this is the bathroom so you have the shower which we all know i'm not here for the shower a lovely little la toilette in the corner huge huge sink a very <laughs> bedraggled shannon lee and then look i've never even heard of this band by red oh we've got hand wash body wash conditioner fabulous absolutely fabulous and then look the bath this was all i wanted the bath and the best part, robes, 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 robes. I'm so happy. And then we come out, fabulous full mirror. I mean, could I do a little outfit picture here before we go to the concert? Who knows? And then you turn around, you've got a little desk, which is fabulous, my big TV. And then look at the bed. I'm gonna have so much fun in this bed. Well, I'm gonna starfish out. <laughs> Let me tell you that I will start fish out guys and then we have a lovely little skyline of London We've got a little chair here and then this is the view. I mean, it's not the brightest of days But I mean we can go with it. It's a lovely view But yeah, I don't quite know what they're um, let's just draw them a moment Can we draw them a little bit better? There we go. I don't quite know what they are actually um filming out there but yeah it was like we had to walk a different way because i was filming something the time currently is 20 past three so the walkway opens at four so i was like oh that's fine because i think i'm gonna chill oh what's these all these little notices oh that's about reusing linen they should be oh room services via the tv why does this give me vibes when i was on holiday what's the thing room service it's a direct line and then oh no what am i pressing i'm pressing light and i don't know what's coming on guys this is all like way too moddy con for me light no this is like, I'm like, I think it's all got to be done from the main one. I feel like if I press lamp, I don't know how to work this thing. I'm just pressing everything and I don't quite know what it's doing. As long as I've got a light in the bathroom, I'm fine, okay? I'm fine. We've just, we'll go with it. We'll see what on earth, what on earth happens, happens, okay? But yeah, I am going to, oh, should we see? Room service. He did say they charge you, um, oh, what's this? Traditional continental 
Our win room dining, please kindly advise your server. All prices are inclusive of that. You get a five pound room service tray and then 12 and percent will be by the thing. Oh, you have to scan it with your phone. God, this is very high tech. Okay. Okay, we've got to connect it with the phone. So I don't know whether I want to have food when I get back or food in the morning. Well, this is a lovely desk and chair. I'm thinking, am I going to have time to film a video? I don't know. Because I haven't got... I did bring my big tripod. There weren't enough, uh, <laughs> weren't enough room in the case. Oh, God, look at that. Weren't enough room in the case. So, um, yeah. I would love to film a video with that. That could be sit down and sham, but I don't quite know how I'd prop you up. Might have to be a very, very zoomed in one. Oh, that's gutting. I couldn't bring my big tripod. That's annoying. Okay. Sham, you need to switch off, girl, because... <sighs> I always like to film and always like to vlog when I'm away, but sometimes I feel like, Shane, you need to like relax. You shouldn't be coming here and thinking, right, I need to vlog. I need to film sit down videos. It should just be, I come here, go to the concert, have fun and get some good food. So yeah, I'm going to have a look over the menus. I'm definitely not going for the mini bar because I saw the mini bar menu <laughs> online and I was like hell no mm -mm -mm. oh my god I haven't got a safe in here snazzy I did bring a couple of cans of cocktails so yeah I'm not entirely sure what I'm gonna do for breakfast yet he said oh if you add it now it will be cheaper and you don't get like the service tray sorry if it's a bit dark and I was like yeah but I don't really know what I fancy in the morning I don't know if I want like, oh, okay, I don't know, I don't know guys, we'll see, we'll have a look and we will see in the morning. Or if I have um, the pizza tonight, I won't have brekkie. So, yeah, I shall see you. They also take a £100 security deposit when you check in. But he said that can have, like, your room service allocated against it. So, yeah, I'm going to quickly unpack. And then I think I'm going to get in and have a nice bath. And then I can set up somewhere and start doing my hair. Because I did actually bring my crimper. If it works, it works. If not, it I figured out how to put the lamps on it and I've also bought my little pack of iron brew pastels. Yeah. I mean, I've never had a little sweet treat before. I've got um, a couple of cans of strawberry daiquiri. Because I have no idea how expensive the O2 is going to be. I mean, Newcastle was bad enough. Um, this mirror is perfect height. Let me do my hair. Sorry, these iron brew pastels are so freaking good. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna chew in the bath. Might put on a row. Once the hair is done, I'll be fine. But the hair is gonna take me the longest. So if I start with the hair and then work on the makeup, and then decide what top I'm gonna go for. I think that will be the vibe, but yeah, bath time. Well, can you see me, Canon? Yes, you can. That bath was gorgeous. And I'm in the robe. I mean, is there anything better 
than hotel robes? No is the answer to that. No, there is not. So, um, yes, I'm going to set myself, actually, I'm going to set myself a timer, an hour to do my hair. It's five past four now because this does take me a while and I haven't done it in ages. So, oh, you're heating up quick. I actually need to remember how to do it. So, <laughs> I can see myself here. Canon, you're out of focus. I can see myself here. I am going to have to, or actually no, I might wheel the chair over. I might wheel the chair over and do it. I'll try and, I, did I bring my mini tripod? I think I did. Let me try and pop you up on there and then you can see a bit of what I'm doing, eh? Is this a bit better? I don't know guys, sorry about the lighting because I still actually don't know how to, I've got these lights on and these are the main ones, so. Oh yeah, yeah, let's do it. Uh, you can't even see me, can you? I'm gonna have to try and stop these brightness out. I just look like a huge white whale, don't I? Right, Shannon Lee, focus, because we need to remember how to do this, starting with the bottom first. And whatever you do, don't scold yourself. I actually really used to love doing my hair in the main red waver. Can I? And then I stopped because it just took too long and I always ended up burning myself, didn't I? Yeah. This is poor lighting. I do apologise. I might try and put you on the other side of the room. But, um, yeah, let's try and put some form of time lapse of me actually trying to do my hair, shall we? This is going to be eventful. Oh, guys, the first curl ain't gone too bad. <laughs> Now I just need to like put this down without it burning the marble. Can you stay? No, you're not going to stay. How did I have you before? time and I mean it's not great it's not like proper ringlets guys but we are going to go with it um I had to take the gown off because you know when I couldn't get to like the back bits of the hair so I thought you know what well this reminds me of like a little cute holiday picture like hey um yes so now I think I've got a little bit of time left on the I've got 12 minutes I was just making sure that you couldn't see my bum I didn't want to like expose myself as I walked away um Dada is going to go halves on me with whatever room service I have as my Easter present so whether I have food tonight or breakfast tomorrow he said he'll go halves with me so you know what I'm thinking I'm thinking I don't need to go to the outlet tomorrow okay I'm just I've struggled enough you would have seen I didn't have much filming on the way here because I struggled with that little case on and off and my umbrella and everything. So I'm thinking potentially food tonight and then like starting a new series. I bought my book as well because I'm hoping to try and get through my book. I'm thinking I might try and do an all-nighter. Who is she? I don't know if I will be able to do an all-nighter. But I feel like I really want to start that night agent. And I feel if I've got loads of food, I'm going to feel like I'm on holiday. Like actual abroad holiday. I don't have to look out and see the murky waters of the River Thames and not the Caribbean Sea. But you know what I mean. Um, so I think now, time to brush the teeth. And then sort the makeup out. But I don't know with the tops. Because one of the tops, if I remember correctly, is quite hard to get on. So I might have to put my top on first 
if I'm going to go with that top because I'm still not sure what top. I feel like I want to go for my cropped rugby top vibe. Just so it's like comfy, cash. I don't have to worry about a jacket then. So I don't know. But yeah, um, the hair hasn't turned out too bad, I don't think. <laughs> Just stopping the music a minute because I've got some share by it right now. I think I'm going to go with this fit. High waist leggings. Still, I think, look okay. I thought that they would have struggle getting on. I tell you what, the only thing that's really annoying is the label at the back. I feel like it's really going to itch and like, I can't pull my underwear up. Or well, I might be able to pull it up a bit more to cover it, but then I'm going to give myself a wedgie. And this is, if you remember, oh God, ages ago, I don't know, misguided haul, and I got this little like rugby jumper, and I just thought, you know what? It's lightweight, so if I get a little bit hot in there, it's fine, but I don't have to take a jacket with it. And then I'm just going to have my little viv bag on it. I've just got to fold the sleeves up because I am like itty bitty committee. The only thing is, can you see that? If I lift my hands too much, I'm going to expose my bra. So I think if I'm going to like put my hands in the air, I'm going to hold my top down and do it like that because I don't want to be like, woo, hi. Don't really think that's a vibe. But yeah, I prefer this to the green one because the green one's quite booby. And... I don't know, I just feel, I do feel more on edge here than I did going to Newcastle. Because Newcastle obviously it was cold, everyone was like dressed up, but being on my own I don't like to, I don't like to draw attention. Like I have to be mindful that I am on my own, I know there is a walkway, but you just never know. So I feel like I can be covered up, I can show a little bit of my belly, but if my hands are going to be like all the way up, I will compose myself you know so uh i've just done my teeth i really shouldn't but i'm still going to carry on drinking my strawberry daiquiri so shall we paint this face i'm going to put you on a time lapse because i am listening to a bit of music and kind of want to start getting my boogie on i'm not actually listening to dermot kennedy i'm listening to a random playlist maybe i should put dermot kennedy on yep we're changing to dermot kennedy okay my portable charger is here fabulous Dermot Kennedy, where are you? I was listening to his album the other day, Sonda, but we're just gonna go with it. On the run from my given disaster, speed away from the holy mind, pride. That's where I never thought it would matter. If I'm gone by now, all my weakness keep on leaving. time spare so it's six o'clock now so the doors open at half six so i'm just going to chill for half hour because i want to get there when the doors open so i don't have to like faff around waiting and that like i feel a little on edge okay i think with end ups that was kind of like a concert to relive my youth i feel like Dermot kennedy is kind of not reliving my youth i feel like it's celebrating my freedom or like where I've come from because his music is very very emotional to me like I resonate with a lot of his songs if he sings better days that's it I'm just I'm crying okay I'm gonna be a mess um yeah I feel like he's like been on the journey with me for like I'd say the past what year 18 months just seeing where I've gone along in life but I need to try and put you somewhere so you can see the whole Outfit. where can we put you can we put you here sorry if the lighting goes a bit naff guys 
So I've got my misguided jumper on. We've got the wet look leggings. I've got my chunky boots. And of course, good old Vivi's coming along because I just wanted something that I can keep on my persons at all times. I'm not going to be like worried if anything happens to it. Saying that, I feel like I've just lost my phone. Great. Oh God, the hair looks a little wild here, doesn't it? And yeah, I think what I will be doing when I get back, I feel like I might get room service when I get back. Because now I've got it in my head that I want to start night agent. And I want to kind of do an all-nighter. Hmm. <laughs> that could be dangerous. I'm trying to be a productive adult here, okay? What I would go and spend on in the outlet, I'm going to probably end up spending on food. Let's be serious. Um, I looked at the menu before I come, and I think there's that pizza. Of course, if you was with me for the Newcastle concert when we went to see end -ups, Oh, my God, I feel like I'm squeaking on this chair. Yeah, just a little bit. Um, we had deep filled pepperoni pizza with potato wedges. And they charge you a five pound tray charge there. They charge you it here as well. But I saw there was pizza. I also saw there was a burger, which um, kind of took me back to Dominican Republic all doing the cheeseburger. And then I saw they had Korean chicken wings. But I don't know which are chicken wings because I changed my nails. You guys probably would have seen these in other videos, but I literally changed them yesterday. And this one has broke below the nail bed again. So this is a falsy. And I'm thinking if I hold the chicken wings, I know I'm probably going to end up ripping that nail off. They do have halloumi fries. So I don't know. I mean, I could. I did see, guys, on the menu, a chicken Caesar salad. Now, we all know when I went to Dominican, that was the first time I'd had a chicken Caesar salad, and I loved it. So maybe I might go healthy and have a salad. I don't think so. I don't think that's going to happen, is it? So, um, yes, I am going to just chill out for a half hour, finish off my daiquiri, and then we will have a little walk down there. I'm really excited to see what merch they've got. I, of course, want to get a band tee. Well, even though it's not a band, I want to get a T-shirt because I want to kind of collect it. I mean, I say collect. I've got the end dubs one. I do have a T-shirt from Van Gogh when we went to the exhibition. But I want to try, like, I want to go to so many more concerts. So I want to kind of, like, build a band tee, let's just say. I think I got my dubs one in a size medium. Just so that they're, like, not huge like 90s, but a little bit oversized. Because you know me, I like to wear them with cycling shorts. So, yes, that is the plan. The rest that you're going to see is phone footage. Um, I don't know how much I'm allowed to film in there. I might get too lost in the moment and forget to film. I mean, I won't forget to film everything, but I do want to, like, get in the moment with this because I've been wanting to see you for so long. And to think that I was in Dominican when I booked this and now I'm here, it's like, how quick has time gone? But, yes, let's go see Dermot Kennedy. Mwah! She just got to the end of the corridor and it was cold so we are going with the jacket guys we are going with the jacket and it doesn't matter we can put it on the seat if need be but yeah let's get going well going again <laughs>
just wanna look into your eyes You know you make me feel like I'm alive I can't speak <laughs> oh my god he was so good live I didn't think he was gonna be that good I thought like you know where can we put you where the lines a bit where's a bit better there I didn't think he was gonna be that good and he was so good I got very emotional there was a few songs on there that's why you didn't really see many clips of me because half the time I was actually crying 
because I just get very emotional with his songs. But I'm hungry. Guys, do you know how much a large glass of rosé cost me? £15.20. But I'll show you what I got for the um, merchandise. Of course I had to get a t-shirt, but I got a different t-shirt because I didn't like the normal t-shirt. So I got a long sleeve one. I got them in medium so that they're oversized. That's the front of it, it says Sonder. And then on the back we have Sonder 2023. And then all on the arms is his tours. And we are, I think he said, are we the last? Yeah, we're the last one in England, 14th of April. And then, because I didn't have a magnet, and Dubs, I got a magnet, didn't I? I got a beanie. And now, we all know I love a beanie. I mean, probably not with this hairstyle. Yeah, it's not a vibe, is it? But I thought I got a beanie. I mean, cost an arm and a leg. And Dubs was 30 quid for a t-shirt. This was long sleeve. This was £45. Okay, mum's going to absolutely kill me for buying that. And the hat was... £25. Shh. The glass of wine was over £15. She's definitely going to shout at me. I need to get in my PJs and then I need to scan this thing because I want room service. I don't want breakfast. I want room service. I want to watch Night Agent. I'm going to have a good night. My ears are ringing. Oh, and I've still got one and a half can of my strawberry bakery. Oh, this can be a good night. We might actually do that all night. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I just broke the remote. PJ's on. Right, let's have a look. Room service. She's got a scan and menu. Let's have a look. Scan me. God, this is fancy. It's even more fancy than Dominican. Probably not great this idea to give me a spinning chair. Scan the QR code to feature our latest menu. Right, it's two minutes to 11. So. No, I'm not going to have. I'm going to wait for the twilight. I'm going to wait for the twilight menu. Here we are. Soup of the day. Four cheese ravioli. See now, this is what I think. Do I have a classic chicken Caesar salad? Baby Jim, homemade garlic, parmesan, crispy bacon mayonnaise topped with herb croutons and Cajun spiced chicken breast. I've got an eight ounce beef burger. Oh no, take the gherkin out. Cod. Could I have fish and chips? Could I have fish and chips? Nachos! Oh, nachos so nice. Corn tempura. That's what I was looking at, the Korean chicken wings. But £14 for chicken wings, I think, is a bit excessive. That is a bit excessive, in it? Like, halloumi fries is £12. How much is a pizza? Pizza's 15 quid. Okay. Definitely don't want any drinks. Oh, I am want, how much is a Baileys? No, I'm paying for a single Baileys. No. It's only 13 quid for the bottle. Let's bring you over here. I feel like the lighting is terrible. Oh my God, I haven't even got on the bed yet. Oh, this is comfy. This is comfy. You're going to fall. If you fall, I do apologise. You literally look like you're going to fall or you're on the wonk. Stay. It's so bouncy. What do I get, guys? I'm not paying £9 for a single Bailey's. Like, no, that is taking the mick. How much is a hot chocolate? £6 for a hot chocolate. I should have bought me dairy milk. Sachets. Right, we're not having drink because we have strawberry daiquiris left. It's just food. It's just the most important thing. Do I have pizza and chips? Pizza and chips are going to cost me £21, then a £5 tray service. So if I'm going to have to pay a fiver for a tray, I need to get like decent amount of food. How can I think it's like two people here? <laughs> I can be like, not just me. Right, you know what I'm thinking. 
So technically I've got, Dada said he'll give me halves to what I go on, up to 20 quid. So technically I've got 40 quid to play with, okay? So I could get nachos. And then they've got prawn tempura. I've already said, like, I think my chicken wings... Do we think I'd be alright with my nails and chicken wings? Guys, this is so hard because I eat everything, don't I? This is like, no, right. Well, I've definitely missed the all day. Twilight. Now, do I go for a salad? Salad and pizza, would that work? But I'm just funny in case I don't like that mayo. See, the burger comes with french fries. That's £22 though. Then I could add bacon and cheese and fried egg. Oh, and I don't know if you see, guys. I bought Blanky with me. Blanky comes everywhere. You know that. Or do I get, like, halloumi fries, £12. I think that's a bit excessive for halloumi fries. I'm thinking... You're probably thinking, Shannon, hurry up. Like, you're waffling on it. Just order some goddamn food. I'm thinking pepperoni pizza with oh, French fries or chunky chips. I want to say French fries. It's 20. And then maybe... Maybe some Korean chicken wings on the side. £34, £39 with the tray charge. We're in we're in the uh, thingy, guys. That's it, that's what we oh, are. But then I really do fancy a burger. A burger with bacon and cheese. No, I think it's only right we have a pizza. Because I had a pizza when I went in dubs, wasn't it? Pizza and chips, but I had wedges. So we're going to have, or should we just get pizza and chips? Stop being greedy, Shannon. This is so hard. Well, i tell you what, do I get pizza and chips and then nachos? Pizza, oh, God, do you need the chips if you've got nachos? Yeah. Right, pizza, french fries and nachos. Let's get this ordered and I'll see you when it's here. Gosh. I just ordered and he was so polite and he goes, oh, that's fine, miss, my surname. Have a lovely evening. It'll be within 45 minutes. So I was like, okay. So that gives me time to set the laptop up and get my night agent. Oh, my God, I'm so excited. Right, let's go get sorted. I'm break too easily, but I'm worth it because I'll slip into your dreams tonight. Oh, so give me, so give me your all. I'll take it, I'll take it to Mars, oh. Is it just me or are these like the little um, salt pots and the little salt pots? Oh god damn, cute! I'm going to put my french fries on the table. So with my um, tray charge and everything it costs.
15 quid is bad for that size because you pay that in like Pizza Express. Mmm. I'm going to get watch, get watch, get back to watching my night agent and tuck into some food. <laughs> I'm only watching one episode because I'm actually really tired now. It is half twelve. Food demolished. Skincare looking ugh. I took everything off. But yeah, I'm gonna get some sleep. And the best thing, I've got three pillars. These are so soft. So yeah, I'm gonna have a sleep. I'm gonna try and well set an alarm for seven. Whether I'm up or not is another question. But uh yeah, we shall see how it goes. But I've had a fabulous time. He was so good. But I need to get some sleep now. I'll see you in the morning, guys. Good morning, guys. Good morning. It is 8 o'clock. There is already people cycling and people running. You know what? I think if I lived in London, I would run a lot more. Because there's so much space and the views are lovely you would have seen i done a little shot this morning and you would have seen a plane someone jetting off somewhere lovely but yeah i don't feel too bad <laughs> i feel okay um i woke up about two-ish and literally when i say i downed a bottle of water it was not the freshly chilled glass bottle of water let me tell you that it was the freebies on the top i downed that and then i went back off to about half six and then I've just been reading this morning. I've just been chilling. And now, as I say, it's about eight-ish. Oh. Oh. My eyes. I need to um, scrub off the rest of last night's mascara because it slightly stained my eyes. But, yeah. What a lovely day. I mean, it is a little bit miserable weather. I'm not going to lie. Don't look like it's raining. I mean, but... I said it just, I was, uh, oh, more runners, more cyclists. I was, um when I was sitting here last night eating my pizza, I had the curtains and net open. And I was just, I could imagine the TikTok song, the da, da, da. And I thought, imagine if something just, like, come out of the water. This is why I mean, like, I not freak myself out, but I think of these things. I love this lovely, big, deep window. Because, I'm not going to lie, I read a few chapters here this morning. The only thing, it is quite chilly. Like, you can feel the coldness from the window. But, yeah. Oh, people walking their dogs. Oh, it's a little sausage dog. Oh. And I bet, right, around certain parts of London, there is, like, places you can run. And it is miles. Like, imagine riding around, like, Hyde Park or something. Wow. So, check out 8 till 12. I'm not going to go to the outlet because... I'm just going to buy unnecessary stuff. And I think I'll actually pop back down here with mum maybe in the summer and have a little day out because we haven't been to the O2, God, I'd say like for five, six years and it has changed so much. So I think it might be like a day maybe, me and mum just like, if it's a bit boring at home, I might just be like, should we get on? It takes about an hour and a half, an hour and 40 to get here, which is quite a mission. But if you can time the trains and the tubes right, we're all good. So I think what I'm going to do, do I want to make myself a cup of tea? No, because it's going to make me more sleepy. I think I'm going to run a bath 
and wake myself up and then we'll slowly get dressed we'll slowly get dressed check out maybe about 11 ish and then that way i'll be home half 12 20 to 1 because i've still got some filming to do later on when i get home that is another thing um this vlog will be going up quite a bit after but i didn't upload on saturday what is today saturday the 15th apologies there was no upload it was just i didn't have time in the week with work and normally i film friday nights for my saturday uploads and obviously today well friday i was at the concert and i didn't have time thursday because i didn't get in from work till late and i thought you know what i don't want to put half hearty content out like i actually want to put my content out and i know you guys the messages that i had like don't worry there's going to be an extra upload next week which this could be the extra upload i'm not too sure I'm not too sure how it's going to work, but yeah, um, I do feel guilty when I miss an upload, which I think I can probably count on one hand the amount of times that I've missed an upload. It's probably, I can't actually remember a time when I've physically missed an upload. Like, there's missing it and not uploading, but if I miss it, I will always make up for it either the following week or a double upload the thing. So my uploads will never be missed, but it might just not be on the day sometimes. Which I think is very rare. The only time it goes a bit AY sometimes is when I go away on holiday because of time difference and uploading and everything like that. But yeah, I do feel guilty. But I like to try and... I like to do all these things. I like these memories and I think I need to... I think I'm getting better at finding a balance between work and life and bits and bobs. But it is hard. But a lot of you said on the things, don't worry, go have fun, enjoy yourself. And hopefully, I haven't even seen the footage that I took last night. So it could, it could be an absolute whitewash of the footage that I took. But I had a really, really good time. But anyway, I'm going to stop rabbiting away. I'm going to run myself a nice bath, freshen up. I don't think I'm going to wear makeup going back. But then I'll be ready when I get, nah. What have I got to film when I get back and sit down with Shan? I don't need makeup for that. Nah, we're going to go makeup free, put the hair up in a mm, bun ponytail we'll see how it goes but yeah i shall see you and hopefully i look a little bit fresher <laughs>more presentable i had a lovely bath read quite a lot more of my book as well so um hopefully i'm gonna get that finished this weekend but it looks like it's starting to rain so i'm gonna try and make a mad dash to the train station but yeah i'm gonna check out go to the train station and make my long long journey home i just thought i would actually love to do this like come into london on a friday night but spend like a whole saturday and sunday in here too do you think I should do a little series where I just go to random parts of London? I think that could be a vibe. But guys, I am going to head out because the battery's actually started to flash. So, good time, you know. We've had just enough to last for the day. But yeah, I've kept my lashes on. Well, I've put my lashes back on. Hair's gone up because it's raining. Let's go home and let's see Mama G, eh? <laughs> and just like that, I am back. Mum was just like, oh, how was it? I was like, yeah, yeah, it's good. So, the geezer that come out first, Noah Karen, no Karen. he said they call him like the Jewish Ed Sheeran, and he does like guitar and ukulele, and he's got like two little plats. Oh. He's actually really good. I've never heard of him before, but there was people there that I think come just purely for him and not for Dermot Kennedy. Oh, right. But he seemed like, I've been listening to his music on the way back. Um, so, my room service. So, I had a pepperoni pizza, a portion of french fries, and a portion of nachos of which I will show you the photo so all of that pepperoni pizza not French many fries. fries what's them things there nachos with all my dips oh right so how much do you think all of that was bearing in mind there was a five pound tray charge and a 12.5 service charge 30 
38.75. Oh my god! The pizza was 15, which I didn't think was bad for a pizza. No, was it big? Yeah, it was huge. It was all double stuffed. It was very, very oh, nice. Oh, right. The French fries were a fiver. I think, well, that you pay that for a side anyway. Yeah. And then nachos okay. were a tenner, which I didn't think was oh, too bad because yeah. that was yeah, a good portion. Yeah, yeah, So the food itself was 30. Yeah. Fiver for the tray. And then I think it was like, what's 12 and a half of 30? Oh, three, about 3.75. Oh, right. So yeah, it was 38.75 for room service. Right. I only and had... what time did you get there? 11 to have that? It was, yeah, because it's part of the Twilight menu. Oh, right. The, um... I only had one drink at the O2. Right. Because... Was they, there lots to queue in that? No, no. So just sit in your seat and they bring you, it? No, no. So it was just a plastic cup. Oh, right. But like that. And they didn't have pink gin, so it was only dry gin. So I was like, I don't like that. Right. So I had a large glass of rosé wine. All right. How much do we reckon? Ten pound. <laughs> oh. I had it and I couldn't even tell her to pour it back in. <laughs> don't. Well, what do you mean a large glass? How many? Well, a large glass. It filled one of them plastic cups, basically. Oh, right. Just under. Right. So, I don't know, maybe like, they say a large it's glass. It's a one, two, five, two, three, three, seven, five, or? I think maybe, maybe it might have been a tad bigger because it was in the plastic cups. Right, right. £15. £15.20. Oh, well, if it's filled the cup. But how big was the cup? It's only like one of them ones you get like from, oh, like the size sh- of a mini McFlurry cup. Oh no! So I sit there all night. Yeah. But I thought, oh, good job I went there because I she, she just said thirty pound. I said leave it, love. <laughs> so like Newcastle, it cost me fifteen for a double gin and tonic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cost. That's me where they make their money, isn't it? It was twelve pound for French fries there. No. And I think it was fifteen for a popcorn. <gasps> Oh, it's too exorbitant. So I thought, if I went there, and I could have got hot dog and chips, and I probably would have paid 30 quid. So I would have rather just waited and had my room service. Yeah, yeah, because you're in the room. Was the room yeah. nice? Room was very, very nice. I had a king-size bed right. with the uh, sweet views, uh, city views. And what, was you on the 12th floor? I was on the 12th floor. You should have just Look, said that. My, was the thing. You should have so just said, my mum's, my mum's on the way up. Look, it was a film crew there. Oh. So God knows what happened there. But my room was... That was the lift. Look how bougie the lift was. Mm. Look, you have to scan your car oh, to get it. So oh, my God, how many rooms? You know what I'd want to do? Click, 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 click. That was my view. Oh, so that I was, was right nice. opposite the HSBC and Barclays Banks. Oh, right. Not near the Shard. No, no. And oh, then right. Here we go. Mum can watch the little room tour. You guys would have already right. seen this. But, um, yeah, it went back for like a single person. Well, it's a standard double room. So I had I a shower. You said king size room. Well, it's a king size bed, isn't it? And I tell you what, they had uh, toiletries there by Redo. Oh my god, I want them. They smell so nice. I looked online on Cult Beauty. They're like forty quid for a body wash, though. What, one of them? <laughs> yeah. I was like, no. Because you remember in the old days, you used to take the little ones with you. Yeah, I had a little thing. I weren't even going to attempt. I had the uh, two free bottles of water on there in plastic. I opened the mini fridge Look last at the night. Bed. I had a little desk there. My name come up on the uh, TV screen. Ooh. See, that was a nice view, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah, If it had yeah. been nicer weather. Bit overcast, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh. But, yeah, he was very good. I didn't and, think... And what was it, 240? Yeah. Oh. But I said, like, you pay because I think it's more the access can't to the O2. Can't through the business? <laughs> no, I can't oh. go through the business. And then that was well, you my... Could because you blocked the, the room. I was trying to get everything through the business. So that was my outfit I ended up going in. But I did wear my checkered jacket in the end because it was freezing. So what you got? Your leather Boots, leather and look leggings yeah. and a crop jumper. But I did what? actually take was that my... Was misguided? Yeah, but I did take I my... I thought it was um... cheap. I was going to say, what, have you nicked that one in and not told me? I did take the thing. So that was where I was sitting. So the stage is there and I was here. Oh, what? This is where we was for them people when they come down with dancing on us, wasn't it? Very similar. Oh, so you say it. What about them people there standing? They're standing. I, I don't think personally I could do standing at a concert. I think I'd get like two. But did you see him and hear him? Yeah, yeah. So like, that was the guy. That's the guy, the opening act with his little braids. Oh, right. Oh, he's all right. But then when Dermot Kennedy come on, like, he was... Oh, so you're sipping slowly your wine. So like, he's there. You could see him. Oh, right. Yeah. And then you had him on, like, big screens. You could have him on all the screens and that there. Because that was his last... Um... Oh, oh, is that him? Yeah. 
This oh, was his last like, film. I imagine him to be looking like a rug and bone. No, no, he's an Irish singer. This is his last, that was his last night in England. He's going to Dublin and Limerick next week and then he does America. Oh, Dermot Kennedy. And what yeah. is his actual music then? Is it like a rag and bone man, husky? Very and... raspy and... Yeah. Like, I thought... You know when you listen to people and you think on the radio, oh, they've got to be true, like, you're not that raspy. Yeah. He was, like, pure acoustic. He plays the guitar. He does everything. Like, So really, is he really similar good. to Ed, but he's raspy? Kind of, like... And he's Irish. Love an Irish accent. Brown did that hold last night then, 2000? No, O2 is 20,000. Oh, it was pretty much a seller. Oh, right. There was only like a few odd spaces that what, you could see. What, high up where we yeah. saw in the thing? Yeah. Oh. I was had a better seat there than Newcastle. Newcastle, I was in the gods. Yeah, yeah. I was like more back bit, but this I was at the side bit. But that looked like when we see Dancing on Us. When yeah, we went down that at the little, bottom yeah. bit. So I had to get some merch. They didn't have any magnets. Oh, or key rings because oh. I got no, my end dubs key ring last time oh, I did, did have you? yeah I got an end dubs key ring with my t-shirt it's in my memory box oh you didn't show me that <laughs> so they had a mug or a necklace and I thought I'm not I don't know then they had a scarf which I was really if I'd have seen it in Newcastle I would have got the scarf because it said Sonder back to back on a scarf and one side was black and white and the other side was white and black Oh, like so Newcastle. if I'd have seen it in Newcastle, yeah. I would have got the scarf. That was 30 quid, so I thought, but I didn't see it in Newcastle, so I didn't think. So this did catch my eye. I got myself a beanie. Oh, right. Because I thought it's something I will actually use. Yeah, And yeah. that was the thing of the tour. Oh. So I got it in an emerald green. Is it not? Oh, you can wear that with your Vivco. Yeah, well, I just thought, looking I up. I thought that would have been DK. No, it was D, and then it's like a little lightning mark. Oh, right. So... The mug was fifteen pound. Right. The scarf was thirty. Right. The necklace was forty. Right. That was twenty five. Flipping out. But I will actually wear yeah, like the necklace. Yeah. I won't wear. I've got loads yeah, of mugs. Yeah, 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 plenty. The scarf I would have got if I'd have seen it in Newcastle because it would have made more sense. What if Dermot was there? Yeah, because yeah. I would have thought black and white. So I. So thought, what's it called? S N O W. S O N D E R, Sonder. That's his new album. Oh, right. I will see. So I thought a beanie, I will actually get use out of this. All right, yeah. And then the top. So we had tops, hoodies, sweats. They had the t shirts, but they was only in like a cream with lilac writing, and I didn't think it stood out enough. So he had a hoodie sweat, which was one half lilac and one half cream that said Sonder. That was £75. Oh, God. They had a hoodie that was green, like this, with the lilac writing. That was £60. Oh. They had a black T-shirt, which I liked. It had four of his faces, but it just said Dreamer. It didn't have anything on the back for the tour. Oh. And that was 35 So I thought I wanted something with the tour. So I ended up going for the long sleeve version. Oh, that's nice. So I got a long sleeve black version. On the front, it says Sonder. So you know that that is the album. Yeah. And on the back, it says Dermot Kennedy Sonder 2023. Oh, that's nice. And then on the arm... It has all of his tour dates. You're not going to wear that, are you? Yeah, I'll, I'll probably oh, wear I'll, these. I'll put, I'll, if it's dry in the summer. I do wear these. So, like, yeah, this is all of his memory box. tours. So, he started in March oh, I'll in see. Europe. Right. And then we're the last one here, the O2 London, 14th of April. Then he's going to Dublin and Limerick. Oh, right. And then he does Vancouver, LA, Vegas, oh, Houston. God. So, and when's he ends his loss? He ends his tour in June... 2023 where uh he ends it in philadelphia oh right so a long sleeve top i got it in a medium because the guy i said to him i said could you just hold up a small the small looked fitted but i want my band tops and tees to be like oversized Lewis, a bit. yeah yeah but also you've got something on this one don't yeah, that's his signature oh 40 Sondra pound. Tour. 45 oh that's all right yeah that. so 70 quid for the pair but i thought it's not often what the heck was 25 yeah I thought, and he was one, I said last year, I he's the person I want to see. And ideally, I wanted to see him in Ireland because it's his hometown. Now I've seen him here and thinking, I booked this in Dominican. How long Did ago? You? Yeah, I booked what, this. October? Yeah. November, December, January, February. 
six months ago. I booked this when I was in Dominican. But if you went to see Lewis, would it roughly the merch be the I same no price or the ticket? Much. No, Lewis Capaldi tickets, I think you'd pay so much more. Oh, right. So right. he was 100 to see him. Yeah. What was end up? End ups was 40 quid. <laughs> but again, what was that T-shirt? 30. That was 30. So it, it varies. I, I think like Lewis Capaldi and Ed Sheeran, I think you're paying like maybe 50, 60 for a top, I think. Because of the name and the popularity. It's, yeah, but yeah. I think, so he's been doing this for seven years. He said he started off in London singing his songs to 40, 50 people and here he is almost seven years later doing it to 20,000. Oh. And, like, I think he... And he how could, old would you say he is? Mid-30s? No. See, I only think he's, like, late 20s, maybe. Oh. But I think, like, give him another, say, five years. I think he could be one of the next Capaldi's. Right. His tone is, like, when he started singing, I was thinking, hold on a minute. Like, he act, he doesn't sound any different to when you hear his songs. Like, there's no auto-tune and stuff like that. It is just oh. him. yeah. But, yeah, so that was very, very good. So now... I do want to go see him in Ireland next year. Right. I think he would be someone that, like, every year they come to London or whatever, I'd have to go and see. Oh, well, if I'd you... be like, a, is it a groupie who yeah. follows them around? Well, if you've seen it here, Merv said the, the thing for, what's he say, 50 quid if return? Well, I found on a, a thing to Dublin, 40 quid return on Ryanair yeah, yeah. one weekend. But there was one, because I don't think he played Newcastle. I was looking where he'd played in England... And he does all, like, the main arena. So the O2 was the last one. And then he's done... Oh, I can't even open it now. Oh, my nails are annoying me. He done Cardiff, Leeds, Nottingham, Birmingham, Bournemouth, Glasgow, Aberdeen and Brighton. Manchester. He didn't do Newcastle. Oh, for some reason. Oh. But I wouldn't mind going to, like... I'd travel to, like, Manchester or Birmingham or whatever to see him. If it was on a weekend or a Friday night, I'd take a long road trip out. No, because you can go on the train to Birmingham and the ball ring and it's there. No, it's not the ball ring. It'll no, be I know. It'll be equivalent yeah. of the yeah. things. But yeah. Oh, actually, no. He finishes his tour in Ireland. I was just oh. looking at the dates of this. So from here, he now goes out to America. Oh, right, and then he goes back And then home. he goes back and does his last... He does two shows in Dublin and then three in Limerick, and that ends his tour out. Oh, right. But this was his last Where does UK he come one. from in, in uh, Ireland then? Oh, I have no idea. On oh, right. Like that, but... So when he's talking, you think you you can hear his Irish. It's, he's got such a nice voice. Like, you just sit there and you're like... Yeah, even when he's talking. Yeah, I was like, oh, wow. And he spoke quite a lot. He spoke about, like... The meanings of his songs and why he writes it and how he writes it and everything like that. So he's like not that. a family man? I don't think he's got a family. He's just, he's very like, when you saw when he started playing on the guitar, I was like, he's exactly like you hear oh. on the things. And that Noah Karen or Noah Cowan, he was very good as an intro act. Oh. I've been listening to some of his songs on the way down. He gets his little ukulele and he's like, ding, 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 ding. <laughs> and what's his name? Noah. Noah Cahan or Carahan. But a lot of people knew who he was because he had his own t-shirts there. And people was buying oh, they them. Had merch. Yeah, and I was like, oh. surely you'd come to a Dermot Kennedy concert and get Dermot Kennedy merch. But a lot of people had the Noah stuff. Oh, so he was the uh, supporting act. Yeah, he's like the intro. Yeah. Oh. And then he come on. Did you say he was a little Jewish lad? He's the, he calls himself the Jewish Ed Sheeran. Oh right. Oh, we we'll keep an eye on ukulele. But yeah. yeah. Oh. Very very good. Um, the weather weren't too bad. I so say it was a bit miserable this morning. But apart from that, me uh, room service coming on an actual table. Oh, right. I thought he was just coming on a tray, and he said, "No, where'd you want it?" So I did the end of my bed, sitting there watching Night Agent, loving life. So, what was the the breakfast if you'd have had it then? Like a full English. Oh, nice. <laughs> choice of eggs, bacon, choice of sausage. What's that a buffet? No, no, they'd do it oh. and then bring it, and then like black pudding, and then you could choose. How like much was that? Thirty. So it would be thirty-five <laughs> with the tray charge. <laughs> but. For me, see, I would have loved to have breakfast. I was looking at the healthy one, the acai bowl. That was like £21 for a bowl of basically yoghurt, fruit and granola. No! But I think with a full English, like, they would probably bring you, like, one sausage, a couple of bacon, one black pudding. You I'm want like, to pick yourself. Two black pudding. Yeah, yeah. Big bit of eggs. <laughs> oh, so they don't say to you how many do you want? No, they don't say. <laughs> you just get what you're given. No, well, that's why it's nice to... We should go the for it. The only thing our... I think you choose is the eggs. You get two eggs. 
We'll try and find somewhere shown where we live that you could we can go for a full English for a buffet. Toby Carvery. I will say, oh, right. Oh. <laughs> I'll show you Toby yeah, one yeah, morning. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, it was actually very good. Trains and tubes weren't too bad. That's good. Yes. That is my second concert done. And I will definitely be following him again. Who are you going to see again then, next time? I don't know. I'll be keeping an eye. Whenever he releases his tour dates for the next year, I'll be keeping an eye oh, on him. Oh, would you not like to go and see Ed or anybody like that? Yeah, but he'll be the one I think every year I'll try and see Dermot Kennedy now. Right, right, to see if he's changed. All his new music. But yes, thought you'd bring mm. her on at the end so you get to see her in her jazzy jumper. Got it on because it's cold here, viewers. It I'm is. just going to put the heat on. Yeah. But yes, guys, if you did enjoy the video, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up and subscribe D down did below. Did you do video bits last night? Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll show oh, you the videos oh, later. Oh. <laughs> Let me know if you've heard of Dermot Kennedy or if you're a fan or if you'd look for him, anything like that. But yes, take care, stay safe as always, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>